Polls clearly show that Europeans have turned against America in increasing numbers. You can blame Iraq or George Bush, but it's also true that Europeans have been fed a steady diet of media distortions about America for years. And if you repeat a distortion long enough, it can become reality. If you got your news about the United States only from the European media, chances are good you wouldn't like the United States either. There are a lot of reasons for the anti-American coverage in the media here, but you can start with the journalists themselves. They're mostly liberal and on a mission. America gets a journalistic thumping just about every day in Europe. It's a one-way media war that our government has shown little or no interest in fighting seriously, even though it has severely damaged America's image and influence. A British novelist spoke for many when she wrote that my anti-Americanism has become almost uncontrollable. It rises in my throat like acid reflux. Critics of Europe's media say one of the biggest bashers of America is the British Broadcasting Corporation. Outgoing Prime Minister Tony Blair has said openly that the BBC is full of hatred for America. A former BBC journalist says that this drawing hung in the BBC newsroom. Stephen Green. Bis vor kurzem US-Soldat im Irak. This documentary on the German TV program Panorama suggesting that the US military is filled with dangerous criminals is par for the course in Germany. Perhaps it's not surprising then that a majority of Germans now think the US is more dangerous than Iran. Polls also show most British now have a negative view of America. It's gotten so bad that a British conservative group has produced this commercial to remind the world that it really does need America. Imagine a world without America. You are watching the news from London. General Secretary Stalin was in France today to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the liberation of Paris by the Red Army. Organized crowds of young people sang the Soviet anthem as troops marched along the Champs-Élysées. A world without America. A world with more disease, more poverty, more danger. In Berlin, American Jeffrey Gedman, president of Radio Free Europe, has spent a lot of his time with Germans busting the anti-American stereotypes pushed by the German media. The intuitive stories are fat children, fast food, death penalty, no culture, Guantanamo. Current topics, Abu Ghraib, Guantanamo, 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 Guantanamo. I gave a talk to a group of high school students about three months ago. The first question was about Guantanamo. You know what the second question was? Guantanamo. You know what the third and fifth and ninth and twelfth question was? Guantanamo. Do you know after an hour I could not give them off Guantanamo? Where do they get that? Is it from the air or the water? Or is it this constant beating of the drum? The Americans are abusing human rights. The Americans don't play by the rules. Well, I had Germans actually ask me, uh, does everyone carry an M16 around with them in the United States? And they were absolutely serious. And and. That's when I started to wonder, what's going on here? Where are they, they getting these crazy ideas? Ray Drake, who is both an American and German citizen, became so upset by the lies and distortions about America in the German press that he helped start the website David's Median Critic to fight it. People in Germany have got ideas about the United States that are totally skewed, totally based on misinformation. A few years ago, if you went looking for the history of America on the German news magazine Stern's website, you would have seen this quote in German. No nation has ever dominated the globe like the USA, and its people could not care less about the rest of humanity. After Ray Drake posted this on his website, public outrage forced Stern to change it. It is very difficult to get positive information about the U.S. German citizen Karen Quad became so upset by anti-Americanism, she too began a website to fight it. It's difficult to have a conversation without um, having the anti-American topics on the table. The author of Uncouth Nation, Why Europe Dislikes America, says that for the first time, anti-Americanism, which had always existed on the fringes of Europe, has entered the mainstream. University of Michigan professor Andre Markovitz says it's created a market for anti-American news. I was just at a talk here about my book in Washington where a very eminent journalist of a German newspaper, I, I don't want to mention the name, uh, basically said that, you know, my guys back at my headquarters are just really want bad stuff. I mean, that's what, you know, really, you know, sells. Anti-Americanism in France is neither new nor very surprising. Although new president Nicolas Sarkozy, who says he actually likes America, is a notable exception. 
according to pro-American journalist Michelle Gerfinkel. Yes, the entire government and media uh, structure of France take it for granted that uh, essentially the enemy of France and the enemy of the world is American imperialism. The U.S. helped liberate Europe, spent great sums of money to defend it during the Cold War, and defends it today. So why the hatred? Markovitz says it's about more than Iraq or Bush. Not so much what America does, but what America is. There is a real disdain for what America and Americans are, rather than what they do. To the anti-American European, America is this fleeting superficial, commercial uh, glitter. Meanwhile, the British media has announced it wants to bring its brand of news to America in a bigger way. Tomorrow, a British group warns that the BBC comes to America as a Trojan horse, and how in the European media the deep religious faith of Americans is a sure sign that they're stupid.